you try to get as much data as you can as much real data yeah. and, and talk talk to people in the neighborhood get to know people in the neighborhood that's so important yeah because they'll be the first the neighbors will be the first ones to tell you what's wrong with it yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's always someone who's a good gossip next door. <laughs> old men and old ladies, they know everything. Yeah, absolutely. The old folk are the font of all knowledge for sure. They're really, really helpful, aren't they? And you you should do just... your homework and then you ask for a permit in the city hall, a, a prior permit, which is a paper basically where can I do this? And they'll write back to you. Yeah. It's official and it's legal and that's well, it. you can just feel that certainty then, can't you, to make your plans and, and not have to be worrying because, like you say, you know, to go on a wing and a prayer, that's a really, it can be a recipe for disaster, I think, if you're not careful. So, and and am I right in saying that you, you're able to take people right the way through from the beginning process? So if I, for example, had either found a piece of land I wanted to um, build on or found an old property, and I wanted you to do all of the work, et cetera, you can, you can help from the very beginning process to go right the way through to, to the finishing product. Is that right? Indeed, we can start with the projects and go up to construction and deliver like the whole building, the whole solution. Yeah, that's what we've been up to, <laughs> apart yeah. from, from my personal investments uh, in real estate, which is where I feel comfortable. I really yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I really like to take it a, a step further because uh, my grandfather was a builder, my great grandfather was a builder, my mm -hmm. father was a builder too. So I'm an architect, but I found I like doing stuff, with, yeah. like building stuff. Really, that's funny. I do it for myself. I don't do it for clients. <laughs> but that, that is a passion because when you buy something old. And you get to spend time inside the house, like mm. tearing the walls, like rebuilding the drywall, the new drywalls, painting. There's so much I can do, and it saves me a lot of money. For sure. Yeah, a absolutely. And yeah. then your profit increases a lot. And it's really nice as well, isn't it? I think, you know, to see these old buildings, if that's your passion, which is mine as well, I fully agree with that. It, nice. it, to see these lovely old buildings that have either been badly modified over the years and have all their character removed normally is really the saddest thing to see of all i think um or they've just been left to fall apart to to be able to physically see that and know that you've helped to recreate that piece of history again is such a it's so it's such a lovely honor isn't it to it's be lovely to you bring it. it to life it's yeah. like an old person that's sitting there and you can yeah. refurbish it and it's eco-friendly it's economical there's so yeah. much right ticks, you know, like it makes sense. Absolutely. I absolutely cheaper, agree. When you buy it, it's cheaper because no one wants it. Let's be honest. Most yeah. young people, young people these days, but they most, most of them want is a, a ready apartment to buy. They don't want the problems, the hassle of rebuilding, but that's yeah. where deals are. <laughs> I think deal. that's where the beauty is as well. I mean, of course, these beautiful modern villas and, you know, that there's some, there's a lot to be said for them. I fully, I've lived in both. I fully appreciate both for their own separate, you know, beauty. But I personally think, you know, these old places, they, they don't make them like that anymore. You know, they don't, they don't have those character, uh, that sort of character and those features anymore. It's, it's such a lovely thing to find, isn't it? I think they're great. It's so funny because when I bought my first old house in the center of Guimarães, which is my hometown, it's an, like, it's a medieval house. It's marvelous. Wow. And, and, and the builders wanted to tear down the, the, <gasps> the wood. The oh, the, man. The wood because it looked really old. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to understand that it, it they had termites and stuff. Mm -hmm. So for no someone who doesn't know, it really needed to be torn down. But then I called the carpenter, and carpenters are really honest, like mm -hmm. St. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> and, he got there and he told me, no, architect, you don't need to tear this down because this is oak, I believe. It was oak, like one of the most noble woods there are. Mm -hmm. It's only rotten on the outside, but the inside is strong as anything you can buy today. It's mm -hmm. even better. Mm -hmm. And that's funny because you judge it by its appearance, but mm -hmm. actually it's better than whatever you can buy today. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a great amazing. thing. Wow. And that says it all, doesn't it, really? It's like you say, this is it, getting people who know what they're on about 
because you could so easily have just taken and it, not just taken out of the history it's the expense and the time and i mean everything is it, you know that makes no sense to do that if you don't have to doesn't it so of course you i would pay the builders to demolish mm -hmm. to take it away and to mm -hmm. do it again <laughs> new three yeah. times yeah, I mean, that, that carpenter was a great guy. He still works with us, of course. Really? Oh. <laughs>